it's the middle of May and brassicas are growing strongly and they're all so different in how they grow and their pattern of growth and when you want to sow them and when you want to harvest them and under this mesh cover which is keeping insects off such as flea beetles I'm just going to roll it back so that we can see I'm keeping it on all the time before the mesh I had fleece on here and the fleece was to get these plants going early as you can see that's worked really well the kohlrabi for example were sown February and planted March and it won't be long before harvest and that's what I want to explain to you about them because in complete contrast we have the adjacent crop here is another brassica wild rocket but this was sown in September but also to crop in the spring mainly it's taken me a while to work this one out because you can get some wild rocket leaves from a September sowing in the autumn but they really aren't many and because we're, we're picking under some pressure of time it was taking a long time to get many leaves and I figured the I've worked out a really nice way I think now of doing it which is basically I there's so in September and then in modules and then we actually pot the modules on sometime in November often into small pots of compost which stay in the greenhouse all through the hard part of winter and they look pretty nice actually by February I planted these late February around 21st and then with fleece over and they have been cropping we've had two cuts already and these plants here I'll be cutting tomorrow so I gather the whole plant in my hand like that and and cut through there's maybe two or three little wild rocket plants there actually no that one is one <laughs> they vary between one and three and um, I'm coming to the view actually that one is is possibly easier to manage because you get a nice tidy clump and cut not too low so they regrow these were cut there on Friday so that's three days ago and they'll come ready probably in about two and a half weeks time having said all that and about the mesh cover keeping flea beetle off there is sadly some damage but I can just about put up with that amount of damage in my salad bags and in a salad bowl you know for eating it's fine it just doesn't look too nice and the mesh is helping without that it would be a lot worse so this wild rocket will carry on cropping until late June when it really starts to go for it with flowering I'm like I can see a little flower bud here for example where that will be little yellow flowers very soon and gradually over the next four to six weeks it does more and more of that and less and less of that so you end up more with quite wiry flower stems so that's not so good and at that point actually I do twist them out although this is a perennial plant I find that it's more efficient you get a much nicer harvest of fresh leaves in the spring from a September sowing but you could leave them but then you've got your ground busy all year it depends how, how much you want to grow other things and, and how you like to garden past, partly and then here just by comparison the kohlrabi <coughs> so this is not only is it an annual in terms of cropping but it's really a half annual in as much as it takes a very short time to grow it's not a whole season crop at all because these bulbs which are starting to develop very nicely here this is a variety called azure star azur i find it really reliable and very pretty and attractive and lovely bulb shape from this early sowing kohlrabi rather like the wild rocket and well like most brassicas actually likes to flower in june and so it won't be long before this nice bulb forms before it's thinking of sending up a, a flower stalk and when when it does that the bulb goes woody and that's why it is often said you want to harvest kohlrabi before it's too big now there's an exception to that which is you can do a second sowing of kohlrabi in the summer so after the flowering season I find a really good time here is around the 10th of July and 
I actually sow them in modules, thin them to a single or prick them into modules, whichever way. Plant them late July, early August. And they make monster bulbs by, say, October. And those bulbs at that time of year, you don't need to harvest before they go woody in inverted commas because they're not trying to flower in the autumn. They just carry on growing, carry on swelling. It's a very similar story for fennel, actually. The, the two sowings you can make either very early or midsummer. So there are some nice options and you can just see the difference in, you know, these are all the same family of plants. It's that wonderful family of brassicas, which are all vulnerable to the same pests, but they, these ones don't get so much flea beetle damage as it's, flea beetles seem to more like the smaller salady leaves and the leaves of kohlrabi actually are quite tough. It's probably mainly why we eat <laughs> more the bulb. Um, you could eat these leaves, but they're not so vulnerable to pests. And, also, the advantage of this early one is it's cropping before the cabbage white butterfly and moth are flying. So <clears throat> these are not at risk of caterpillars at this time of year.